Okay, we're going to make a slave board out of an AOI board. Um, this is a uh, Gen 4 or a revised board. And uh, we're going to show you how to make this into a slave board. And we'll solder it up. Okay, we're going to. First one we're going to start out is um, D6, which is a diode. And you'll see a, a, a black band. The black band goes to square hole. So on the board, I want to find D6. And I'm going to put the black, I'm going to put the black band to the square hole. And I'm going to leave the diode set standing up, so I'm going to put that through. And I always take a, a pair of pliers and pull it through. So we're going to pull that down. And that's D6. And like I said, now we're going to solder that in. So I'll just take my, my solder. Let's see if I can get that in there. And we're going to solder that in so it's standing up like that. Now I'm going to clip those two wires off, off the back side with a pair of uh, clippers. A pair of clippers, I'm just going to snip them off. You don't want to cut them off too short, you'll cut the solder right off the board. Okay, that's D6. Okay, I'm going to do um, R10, which is a resistor, and R15. Um, R10, it doesn't matter which way a resistor goes in, but we do want these resistors to stand up. So we get R10 in. Let's pull and make sure they get pulled. And it'll stand up like that. And I'm going to solder that in. And cut my leads. Now the next one will be R15, which is on the other side of the board. So this is R10, R15. You do gotta make sure you go you put it in the right hole. So R15 is parallel, but you don't want to stick it in the hole of the chip. So we're going to pull R15 in. And we're going to solder that in. Uh, make sure you get R15 in right because you don't want to solder it to one of these other holes here for the chip. I'm going to cut them off. Next we're going to do R11 which is a 10K resistor which is right beside R15 goes straight up. So we put that there. And when, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the programming, the stuff for the programming cable on. 
so that I can program the board right on the uh, right on the uh, board. Okay, now I'm going to do R19, which is 10K. Put it in there. Solder it down. And we'll clip the back wires off. Now I'm going to jump to R12 because it's easier to get it now. And it's, uh, you'll see it right here. We'll get that pulled. soldered in and our 12's in and we'll cut the leads ok the next one I'm going to do is R13 which is pretty close to R12 I'm going to slide that in there. Solder it down. And that's R13. Okay, we're going to do R14. Also, make sure you get in the right holes. It's off to the side. But you don't want to get into the, into the chip holes. So there's R14. Pull them up. And we'll solder it in. Our 14's in, and as you see, okay, I'm gonna jump down just because I have to pull it out. Is R18? I'll put that in. We're gonna pull that up. Oops. And then we're going to solder it. Now some people, I'm doing this for the camera. One time, one each one individually. Some people like to put all in one and just solder all your resistors at one time. So that's R18. R18. Little, I'll pull it up. Okay, we're going to do R17 now. 
I'm going to put it in there and bend it over. This is the last of my resistors. Pull that. Solder it in. R17. Okay, I'm going to jump to now C7, which is over here. It's kind of hard with my big fingers in the way. But that's C7, and it's marked. And it's marked on the board where they go and what they are. Slide that in. Clip off the legs. Okay, C7's in. Now we're going to jump over to uh, C8. Right here. Pull that through. That's C8. Solder it in. And I solder in, I'll cut the legs off. Okay, we're going to jump to C9. This is kind of close to C8. C9. Solder it in now. C nine's in. Now I'm going to do C ten, and I'm actually going to be the short leg or stripe to the square hole and I'm actually going to put on the other side of the board on this one short leg square hole white stripe square hole and I'm ready to solder that in And C tens in. Okay, I'm gonna. I have a 3.3 volt regulator, and we're gonna put it right here. It, you go by the outline. Be three pins. And we push that in. 
I'm going to solder those wires. So, that's our three point three volt regulator. them off. Okay, I'm going to do my 20 pin holder now for my chip. Put that in there and solder up all your terminals. So I'm going to get that in there make sure it's up against. And we'll solder up all our terminals. Okay, when that's soldering, that's what it should look like. You want to make sure that little indent is facing out because that put you in the dot for your chip. So now we want to do our uh, six holder. So uh, this is for our. For our opto, so make sure your notch, the notch in here faces the notch on the board. Yeah. Get that up there, solder it in. There's six pins. Okay, we'll solder it in. And we're soldered in. Okay, I'm going to install, install the C106MG or thigh resistor. And um, I'm going to put it on the opposite side of the board where the connector is. So I want this metal to face the, the uh, flash holes uh, for the slave holes so I want the metal to face this part of the board as you can see I want the metal to face that part of the board and black to that so I'm going to push that in put that in and we're going to solder it in and we're going to solder that in so And I soldered in. I'll clip my legs. As you see, now it would be the opposite if I was soldering it on the other side, but I'm trying to keep most of my components. But I still got to put a spacer in the board, which I use it for. You could actually put your resistors, you can actually put these resistors on the other side of the board and the uh, diode. But I still want to put a spacer as I lay my board down flat. It won't hurt. Okay, we're going to step over to Q4, which is the MOSFET RFD14N05L. And we're going to, the black part will go towards the four pin connector for the uh, slate. So we'll push this through, and it's tight. 
When I get that in, I'll solder it in. Okay, I have it in. As you can see, it's that way. Metal will face the capacitor. And I just got to solder that in. And cut the legs off. Um, and again, that's what it's going to look like. Okay, I'm going to jump to the LED. And the LED is a short leg, and that's uh, D5. Now I'm going to put this on the other side of the board, but I want to put it the short leg. To the square hole. The top hole's round, the bottom here square. So only short leg square hole. I'm gonna solder that in. I'm gonna solder that in. Oh, come on, who's doing me? So I have it soldered in. And I'll be able to see that when I turn the board on. Okay, I'm going to put the switch on now. This is a 6mm push button latching switch. I'll put that on. Just like that, and I'm going to solder the six pins. Solder six pins. Okay, I have the switch soldered on. And now I'm going to do the uh, for the programming cable. Okay, I'm going to put my connector on for my programming cable. And I'm just going to solder it to there. And make sure it's straight and it is. I'm using a pretty cheap connector there because I'll probably never reprogram it again once it's programmed. So there's my connector from a programming cable. Okay. Now I'm going to put in my connector for my power to my board. So the top one, top two are power, the third one down is common, and the fourth one down is switch two, in case you decide you want to use an external switch. So I put that on there, and I can solder that connector down. And now I can solder the rest of the rest of them down. There's four of them. And 
I'll just put my iron up against the pins, heat them up, and hit them with a little bit of solder and a little bit of radium for you. Now we want to do the other connector right above there, which is for our slave. I'm going to have to finagle things a little bit. It's pretty tight with that thigh uh, uh, resistor. It's a tight fit. But it gets in there. So we're soldering her down. So that's for my slave flash, that's soldered down. Always make sure you don't see any circles around what you're soldering to. Okay, I'm going to put my pickaxe chip in. I still have one more, couple more things to do yet, but that little notch here fits the little dot. Okay, it chips in. Now it's the same for the Opto, which is MOC3023. There's a little dot here at the bottom. I'm going to put that to the notch in the connector to the board. You got to bend those pins a little bit to fit. Okay. Now I gotta do R16 yet. I kind of saved that one for last for a reason, and we'll get to that. Okay. Now I did say we're gonna do R16, but I got I forgot. I gotta do one more connector, which is E and C. You'll notice down here in C, I'm gonna put a two-pin connector, little green one. That's a emitter and collector from my um, photo transistor. So we're gonna put that there. And we're gonna solder. We're gonna solder that in. And it's in. Now we're going to do R16. Now R16 is a CDS, CDS, and this is what determines whether it's day or night. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. I'll put the board in. That's why I didn't care if my resistors are, are this way, because I'm still going to put a standoff on the board. And I'm going to mount the board right like this. But you could mount the board sideways and not hurt. As long as you can get to the switch. You can mount side as long as you get to the switch. Now what you can do is this is the R16 or CDS. And what you can do is you can put solder wires on. Don't matter which way this goes in. You can solder wires on and locate it somewhere else. But I'm going to actually locate it on my board at, at R16. And what I'll do is I'll have that looking at a little piece 
And when I do my template, I, I, I photocopy the board and I'll mark out for R16. And I'll actually uh, drill a hole in my case, put a little small piece of glass in there for R16 to look out. I'm going to use this as a slave. So R16 soldered in. But I'm going to stand this off probably 3 eighths of an inch. Off the uh, case. And that's a... Uh, a board and all I gotta do now is program it. Put my programming cable here. Program it should uh, work. Let's look at it. This is nice because I can mount this straight to my case like that. Hit my switch to turn it on on and off. I don't have to put an external switch. And that's my CDS these days and night. So that's all there is to making a uh, AOI, AOI um, slave. Pretty slick. Nice for uh, remote. Uh, this one was set up for remote with the 10K. Okay, through through like I said, I'm gonna go over this one more time. The screwdriver. This is to uh, charge. These two here charge my slave. These two fire my slave. Top two are hot because our battery will go into one of these two ports. Third one's common. Fourth one is switch two if you decide to have an external switch. I have an onboard switch to turn the board on and off. It's a latching switch. This connector here is emitter collector. Now when you get your photo transistor, one leg will be shorter. The shorter leg goes to collector, the longer leg goes to the emitter. Okay, that operation of the board. Or I don't cut the board.